This is the bloodiest landscape in North America. You might even think of the 7th Michigan as the Army Rangers at the landing at D-Day at Point de Hoc. Fredericksburg was the first battle in American military history where you have major street fighting, firing from windows of houses, firing from fences. These men had absolutely no training in house-to-house -house fighting. It wasn't just that it was a defeat, but it was the kind of defeat, a senseless defeat, a senseless slaughter with frontal assaults against a well-protected foe. The citizens of Fredericksburg fled by the thousands. I never saw a more dismal procession. Where they were going, we could not tell, and I doubt if they could. Union engineers started bridging the river. The bullets went whizzing and spitting by and around me. Some fell into the stream and some onto the bridge, dead. The Federals responded with a massive bombardment. There wasn't a, a single window pane that hadn't been shattered in Fredericksburg, that houses were collapsing left and right, some of them right over their heads. Fredericksburg was the first American city looted by Americans. The Confederates wanted revenge. They wanted to punish the Union troops that had done this. The really decisive military event that occurred at Fredericksburg occurred at Prospect Hill. The Federals struck Jackson at a swampy gap in his line. For a moment, it looked like Union victory. The Confederates reacted very swiftly and very decisively and pushed them back across the plain. What was unique about Fredericksburg was the sublime courage of the individual soldiers. War is hell. We need to go back and try to understand exactly what was at stake in that war and why these men were willing to go through that hell. 